Hey there, collective. Let's be nosy. See what's going on with your person. I've already blessed the cards. Let's see what's going on. Get a message. What's going on with your person? <clears throat> and I was seeing the world on the bottom. <laughs> the world. Big changes coming around. Big, big changes. That's like the most powerful card is the world. So I'm really feeling like big changes coming. And let's get another row here. <clears throat> Make sure they're all in view. See what I'll just clarify. Look at this. The sun. Of course. We got the most powerful card and the most happiest card in the deck. So I feel like there's a lot of happiness and abundance coming your way. The sun can also be an enlightenment. Um, and I feel like in this situation that we're in, um, I feel like we have been through so many lessons. We are totally in this enlightenment, this awakening. Some, um, some may see it as a spiritual awakening as far as the sun card, um, but it is the happiest card in the deck. So we'll go with that. Okay, let's go ahead and see what's going on with your person. Oh, of course. Lots of conflict. Lots of chaos going on, right? Oh, wow. The tower. Yeah, I feel like your person is really going through it. And the Three of Pentacles. Mm, mm, mm. What I'm feeling like with this first row, and you may not want to hear this, right? Um, so if you don't want to hear this, <laughs> back out and look for another video, right? Um, your person is dealing with a lot of conflict. There's a lot going on in their life. But I feel like there's, this may have to do with work, but I'm also getting a sense that this has to do with the third party, okay? If you are in separation with your person and you are in a third party situation, this reading is definitely for you, okay? Um, <clears throat> I feel like a lot of things are happening in this situation, especially with the third party um, I feel like your person is really letting it slip. Um, I feel like your person is causing this conflict with the third party situation primarily by bringing up you. I feel like you are so instilled in their brain right now. They can't stop thinking about you, for one. Uh, for another, when they do try to rest or sleep, um, your person is dreaming about you. And their dreams, their fantasies are becoming very vivid. Like when they wake up, they don't want to wake up from the dream, right? It's, it's a beautiful dream that they're having because you're in it, okay? And I feel like they're comparing the third party to you. And I feel like they may have let it slip that they're being compared. Maybe they have said your name or maybe they said that you do certain things differently than they do. Um, but that's caused a lot of conflict in this situation. And this third party is causing a lot of conflict in your person's life, right? <clears throat> I 
because they definitely don't like this situation. Let's go ahead and clarify. Spirit, give me a message. <clears throat> Excuse me. Give me a message. Why is the Five of Wands here? Give me a message for the Five of Wands, please. Give me a message. Why is the Five of Wands here? King of Swords, what did I tell you? Yeah, your your person is bringing up a lot of truths. They, they are standing on their thoughts. All their thoughts are... Aligning with you. I mean, if you feel their energy at all, um, you know that the the intensity of the energy is just increasing. It's it's on your end. It may be kind of stabilizing, but on their end, they're kind of getting. How you were feeling in the beginning. That very obsessive. That very um, obsessive energy where you can't get them off of your mind no matter what you do. It's like, oh my God, just remove this person. Do something, you know. They're not treating me the way I'm supposed to be treated. They're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Why am I thinking about this person, you know? And I feel like they're now coming to this realization that you, you are their abundance. You are their gift, right? And with the tower, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Definitely what I was saying. And I feel like this has to crumble in order for them to totally realize that you are the gift. You are the prize. It's not them. They're not the prize. You know, they're a work in progress. You are the prize, right? Spirit, give me a message. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Who do they want to cooperate with? The Page of Cups. Okay. The, the Three of Pentacles, the Page of Cups. So they want to bring you a very small offer. This is a page, right? The, this, it, it's not going to be huge. But they want to finally cooperate. They want to make things right. Some kind of reconciliation. And in order to do that, they want to bring in this small gift. And with your DM, your significant other, you know, however you want to say it. Um, you may have to read between the lines with this person. Because... Their offer may, may be a little, may come in a little awkward. Um, it may be hard to kind of understand where they're going <laughs> with this offer, right? Um, but you may have to read between the lines. So be observant, okay? Okay, let's go ahead and see what's going down the middle. Knight of Cups. There's that offer we were talking about. Right? They definitely want to bring in an offer. They want to move forward. They want to get on the right path. I feel like they've been doing a lot of work. They've been putting in a lot of time and effort to make things happen. And with the overall energy being the Six of Swords, they want to move past whatever happened between you and them. They want to have some kind of reconciliation or just to just to be able to move ahead right but they do have this offer they do have this offer coming in and i feel like they they feel like they worked very hard on <clears throat> building up the courage or building up their finances whatever your person needed to do to build up the confidence to step forward i feel like they they feel like they worked very hard to try to make you impressed 
right? So they're going to come in with this offer to try to impress you, to try to give you some kind of impression that they haven't been idle, right? That they've been working in the background, okay? Let's go ahead and clarify this Knight of Cups, the sun. See, what did I tell you? They are so confident that this offer is going to impress you that, I mean, it's just bringing so much excitement, so much exhilarance to... To the thoughts you know they they feel like they've worked so hard on this and they know that their happiness lies with you they know that this is going to be something that they are going to be able to celebrate because they have been working so hard to uh, find their way back find their way back to you right what's the six of swords give me a message for the six of swords please Spirit, give me a message for the Six of Swords. The Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're going to find out. Look at this. We have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Right? Um, the Queen of Swords can sometimes be very bitter. So, um, they feel like they're hoping that you move past this. Because they, they feel like in the past, maybe you've come across bitter or they have felt kind of bitter because of the way you've acted. Um, maybe them feeling that you didn't need them or maybe you were doing fine without them. You know, that brought some bitterness because this person wants to feel needed. This person wants to feel loved and they feel like you are the only one that can love them correctly. You know, you are the only one that can meet their need. And the third party doesn't realize that. The third party doesn't realize that they were just a distraction. You know, bitter pill to swallow, right? And um, your person's ready to move past the distractions and move forward. Because they have a lot of truth. And they have a lot of explaining to do, right? Give me a message, Spirit. Why, why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Give me a message for the Eight of Pentacles, please. Ooh, two cards. Okay, we have the, the King of Pentacles and the Temperance card, right? So, with the Eight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, I feel like your person has been working very hard, you know? They have had a lot of patience. They have been very um, patient. And well, they feel like they've been very patient because they've been working hard. They've been building up this stability, this, um, you know, fixing their finances, getting everything together because they feel like you deserve the world. Okay, um, they feel like you deserve so many things that they want to be able to provide you. So they've been working on faith. They've been working on faith that you would still be available when they have accomplished all the things that they feel like they need to accomplish. Because they don't want to come to you empty handed. They want to come to you feeling like a man or a woman, you know. They want to come to you feeling very abundant and sure and, you know, very confident within themselves. And it's taken this amount of time for them to build up that confidence, to build up that endurance, right? And uh, we definitely want that, that counterpart there to build up their stamina, right? Okay? So, yeah, they've, they've been walking in faith. And they've been having a lot of patience as far as, you know, working on the things that they need to work on. 
Okay, so let's see on the last row. Yeah, two of wands looking ahead, moving forward. The high priestess and the eight of cups. Okay. Okay, yeah, I definitely feel like they're now looking towards the future. They're now able to make better plans as far as where they see themselves in the future because if you if you realize it or not your person didn't know if they were going to have a future or not your person was very you know on the edge of the cliff okay and and I'm not sure if you're aware of that or not but your person felt like they wasn't able to go on a lot of times and they felt like there wasn't any future like they were living on borrowed time like time was totally running out on them because of the things that they had endured or the things that they had to do to get through some of those tough times and and i feel like some of the things that they had to do you know you may not understand right <clears throat> but I, I feel like your person is now coming to this realization that they have gained this new perspective they have gained this inner knowledge then this, this inner wisdom um with this high priestess card it's like secrets being revealed right behind that behind that that curtain is the secrets of everything you wanted to know and they've been hiding these so desperately hoping that you wouldn't find out hoping that you wouldn't find out what they were up to because they felt like you know as they're walking towards their nine of cups you know they're leaving these eight cups behind so they're leaving this old life that they once knew they're leaving this old life behind and looking towards something new that life that they're envisioning behind that curtain right and <clears throat> they're hoping that in this eight cups while they're walking towards their fulfillment that you don't decide to walk away okay and so that's leaving them kind of with this excitement and this bittersweet um, feeling all in one, right? Because they feel like they're leaving so much behind, but they're doing it all for you. So that's very important, okay? Spirit, give me a message. Why is the Two of Wands here? Give me a message for the Two of Wands, please. What plans are they making? Four of Cups. The Four of Cups. Give me another card for that, please. Why is the Two of Wands and Four of Cups here? Give me a message. <clears throat> the six of cups okay okay i get it now okay with the plans that they're making they're unsure that you're going to be able to release the past that you're going to be able to move forward with all of the things that they've done so that's leaving them in this space of just hoping and wishing you know that they're hoping that their gift is going to be good enough to impress you and so that you'll forget about whatever happened in the past whatever that they did to disappoint you or to hurt you in the past they're hoping that you can forgive them that's that's what i was trying to understand okay thank you spirit um Spirit, give me a message. Why is the high priestess here? 
<laughs> the Ace of Swords. Look at this. Uh, Archangel Michael's Spirit of Truth. Okay. They know that with all the secrets that they've hid from you, with all the things that they've done, they have to come to you with the truth. They have to come to you with the explanation for everything. And they know that that's going to be hard to do. And that's leaving them in a place of, oh, how do I do this? You know, uh, where do I start? But they know that they have to come to you correct. So they're really thinking about that. A spirit, give me a message. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Give me a message for the Eight of Cups, please. Give me a message for the Eight of Cups. <laughs> Look at this. There's that Ninth Cup. Eight of Cups, Ace of Cups. They're walking into, they're walking away from those Eight Cups towards their Nine Cups, right? Because you are the true fulfillment. You are their wishes come true. So, your person is bringing this most abundant cup of love, right? And this creates those nine cups. This creates that fulfillment that they were looking for. You are their wish fulfillment. You are everything that they desire and more. And they know this. That's the reason why they've been so hesitant about everything. Because they know that if they don't come to you correct. If they don't come to you in the right state of mind. With the right abilities. That they could possibly hurt you. And that is the furthest thing from their mind, right? That's the fur furthest thing from their mind. They don't want to do that. So they want to come to you leaving that old life behind and creating this new life, this new fulfillment with this abundant cup of love, right? And they know that they... They know that, that that's what they have to do. Okay. Uh, Spirit, give me a message. What is the overall outcome for my collective? What's the overall outcome for my collective for this week, please? <clears throat> a page of Swords. Yeah. Two of Swords and the Fool. Okay. <clears throat> when your person comes in, this message is totally for you, right? When this person comes in, um, you have a choice to make. You have a choice to make. Do you accept the truth that they are delivering and step out on faith for this new beginning? Or do you totally walk away? Do you, what, which choice are you going to make? This choice is, is definitely for you. You know, do you defend what you feel like they're bringing? Or do you want to reject them, basically? Yeah, Five of Cups. Will you accept them with all of their flaws and defend them? Or will you walk away leaving those two cups, leaving that love behind? Right? Okay, that is what I have for you. And I'm going to leave it there. That's what I have for you. Many blessings to you. 
Until the next one, love and light.